What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Uh, this video right here is just to pass on a rumor. You know, um, you can take it with a grain of salt, as they say. The thing is, is this. The Ford F-150 Raptor is getting the Mustang GT500 Supercharged V8. That's the rumor. Now, I don't know if y'all, for the ones that's into, uh, you know, uh, cars and trucks and stuff like that, is familiar with the Raptor. But when the Raptor first debuted, it had a 6.2 in it. Uh, single overhead cam 6.2 modular. And I'm going to tell you, that engine has so much more potential than even the 5.0 Coyote and the 5.2 uh, Predator engine. That That's what they're calling it now in the uh, GT500. Basically, it's the same thing the 5.0 is. It's just uh, board, you know, uh, a little larger and uh, bigger cams. And I think it has a cross-plane crank, which that's what the 5.2 has. But there's a 5.2 uh, GT350 that has a, um, what's that, flat-plane crank. Makes a difference in torque. That's what it basically boils down to. But that 6.2 had like a 450 horse. Now that is a lot of power for a 6.2 liter which actually comes out to 376 cubic inches. That's making more power than old school big blocks like the 460, 429, you know, Ford Lincoln engines, and uh, even 455 Olds or uh, Buicks back in the day. 440s, you know, 440 Dodge and Chrysler. It's making more power, you know, and this is just a 6.2. But being that Ford do the dumb things that they do, they took that engine out, okay, and put in a 3.5 liter, which I call lawnmower and tractor engines, with a twin turbo, uh, yeah, twin turbo, uh, 3.5 V6. <laughs> now, if I could afford, you know, one of those trucks, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bought it. For what? You had the 6.2. Okay, and you're going to turn around, take the 6.2 out, that had the six speed, and then put in a V6 with two turbos, and it makes 450 horse. Cool. I'd rather have the V8 though. But what they did with the 6.2 is um, they put it in the super duties, and it's said to, you know, uh, they're going to up the horsepower on that. And uh, six P is going to be offered not only in six speed but ten speed as well. Then they're coming with a uh, seven point, I think uh, four liter, which comes out to like a four forty five or something like that, you know. But it's just going to be a like uh, push rod engine based off of old school like push rod but with new technology. But like I said, I'm here to pass on a rumor. Let's get into the story. Okay, uh, A special version of Ford's F-150 Raptor pickup is coming with the Mustang GT500 supercharged 5.2 liter V8 engine. That's what it says. This powertrain will give this already impressive off-road performance truck an upward of 700 horsepower not to mention a more thrilling soundtrack than its current 450 horsepower twin turbo 3.5 liter V6. Expect the V8 powered Raptor to arrive sometime in 2020 or 2021, near the end of the current F-150's production run. Yeah, they talking about replacing it with something else. And I think it's going to... It's is probably going to be something like a uh, something with that new push rod engine they coming out. Maybe who knows what Ford? Ford does. I don't know. Ford <laughs> Ford does some re very dumb things, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, like I said, the customer actually complained 
about the sound of the V6. You, you're not going to make no V6 sound like no V8. So the idiots that bought it, you well, that's too bad. You should have known that. Back to the story. Ford is looking to bring back V8 power for a special version of the F-150. F-150, I'm going to just say that. Wrapped in multiple sources within Ford are telling us that the company is building a Raptor with the Mustang GT500 5.2 liter supercharged V8. This Super Raptor will serve as a send off for the current generation F 150. Scheduled to be replaced in 21 or, uh, 2021 or 2022. At this point, we only know that the supercharged 5.2 V8 is slated to make more than 700 horsepower in its Mustang Shelby GT500 application. So it's safe to assume that the V8 will provide a similar amount of power in the Raptor pickup. Ford's, well, Ford and GM's 10-speed automatic transmission seems like it will be plenty stout to hold up to this engine, given that it's used in the 650-horsepower Camaro ZL1, while Ford could easily source a sturdy enough live Rear axle from component suppliers, Dana. Hmm. And, yeah, before I go any further, I wanted to briefly, you know, talk about the um, Mustang GT500. <laughs> another disappointment. You know, another disappointment. They could have easily, again, let that 5.0 stay in the uh, Mustang GTs, let that 5.2 liter stay in the um, GT350s, and then when it came to the GT500, easily put the 6.2, be it single overhead cam or dual overhead cam, dual equal variable cam timing or twin independent variable cam timing, in the new GT500. But no. Uh -uh. That's giving away too much of the goods. See. Now the customers. The customer can change Ford's mind on this. Just by simply. Not buying. Their cars and trucks. When they. When they. When they uh, put them in production. Make them lose money. See. And then when they ask the question. Why aren't you buying the product. You tell them, you're not giving us what we want. We want a 6.2 single overhead cam or dual overhead cam supercharged engine in the new GT500. If not that, a 7 liter. That's why we're not buying it and we're not going to buy it. See? None but a disappointment. All they did was take that... uh. 5.2, what they call a voodoo engine that's in the GT350. Basically, put a uh, flat, well, cross plane crank in it. And uh, they supercharge it. They, 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 uh, they, they chop the compression down and they supercharge it. That's basically all they did. They cheap. See? Okay, back to the story. I gotta quit digressing. <laughs> This will give Ford a strong response to Ram's plan TRX pickup, which is all but confirmed to use FCA supercharged Hellcat V8 that makes upward a 700 horsepower. Ram is likely to get the jump on Ford in terms of timing as the TRX is slated for a debut sometime in 2020. They always, they've been getting a jump on Ford. Because Ford, they mess around too. They mess around entirely too much. They they got the jump on Ford with the Hellcat. Now they got the Hellcat Red Eye. They got the uh, the Demon, as a matter of fact. And I don't believe I may be wrong, but until the GT500 actually proves itself, I don't believe that Ford has anything on the road that can mess with any of those cars I just named. 
that directly comes from the factory. I'm not talking about what the, you know, the, uh, the novice builder, what he goes out and built. Because I've seen, yeah, a lot of Mustangs, a lot of guys, you know, went out and they actually hopped up themselves. Yeah, they run past those cars I just forementioned. Yeah. But I haven't seen anything that comes from the factory that's able to do it. Matter of fact, until the GT500, the new GT500 actually proves itself, hey, Ford ain't got nothing for him. See? Okay, the Ford should arrive late in 2020 at the earliest. As we hear that this V8 powered version of the Raptor will have a short production run spanning either one or two of the last model years for the current current generation F-150s that debuted for 2015. Given the current Raptor, Raptor's base price of $54,450. It's a lot of money. We might expect this V8 version to command, well, uh, yeah, command somewhere north of $70,000. Well, like I said at the beginning of this video, see that word? Rumor. See? Rumor. Like I said, it was a stupid move to take that 6.2 out of this truck and put a lawnmower or tractor engine <laughs> with two turbos on it, you know, to produce 450 horse, 3.5 liter V6. And now you, you think you finna stack up, you know, and you still, you still have stepping, putting this 5.2 in there even if it's supercharged leave that for a lighter production mustang leave that for some other and you know this is what they should do but for those of us that are interested y'all tell me what y'all think about this this move that four is doing may do or may not do like comment share and subscribe and this is james and i'm out peace